Well, welcome. Welcome to our club. We're going to jump right in. Uh, we, we've been going through all of our committees and having the committee chairs kind of share what, what they do, what their committee does, hoping that they will entice some of you who haven't yet joined committees or want to join another one to, um, to join. So I don't know, Barbara, are you here? I've got it. I've got you guys on two screens, which I find kind of annoying, but I'm looking to see. I don't see Barbara this morning. Barbara, if you're here, say hey. We'll come back to you. Um, and then vocational is vocational and Tay. I don't see. Is Charlie here this morning? Um, oh, she's coming in right now. We'll jump back to that. So how about World Community Services? Charlie Jordan, do you want to share anything about that committee? Sure, I can share some. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Oh, excellent. So the World Community Service Committee has been um, has been uh, basically on hold this year. We met early on, and after our wonderful project in Guatemala last year, of course, to everybody's grounded, but we did meet early on in the year, and we were able to support um, the Navajo Nation Water Project and also a project uh, in Guatemala. It's a school project, and that pretty much wiped out our, our funds. And just recently, when we were able to fundraise and get more funds, um, uh, that's been really exciting for us. And we expect to be meeting this month and we'll have a conversation about potential projects where we can spend the rest of that. And that's it. Great, thank you. Uh, and I'd like to go to youth activities Jess and uh, Brian, are you, uh, I'm sorry, Rebecca. Um, Jess is like, what, me? <laughs> Rebecca, hi. Hi, sure. Um, there you go. Good morning, everyone. I can't see myself. I must look terrible. Um, so Youth Services Committee, again, we are, we're looking at sort of, you know, with COVID and stuff, how do we change our committee? But um, historically, we've done projects to uh, like support local youth running, do the dictionaries for kids, um, support other youth things. This year, we've really been trying to focus on um, what what the like schools and teachers need, just because um, this year has been really a struggle for them. I know one thing that I have: I have a garage full of books. I need to help get teachers out. We got at the beginning of the year, we got a list of needs. So. We're definitely looking for some energetic people. I know we need to meet. I don't know if Brian's on the phone. I know Brian's about to start tax season and I had a really hectic fall. So um, we're looking to start meeting again um, and just really, again, looking for, especially in COVID, how can we help teachers and students, especially this year um, before. So. Questions? Thanks. Thank you. Brian, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, not necessarily. We haven't met for a, a couple of months, but um, we probably need to meet again so we can get going again on and touch bases with Rebecca on what she's been doing with um, the schools. And I know we have some additional budgeted money that we can spend. So I think we need to meet this month maybe to get back together. So let's, let's plan on doing that. <laughs> Great, and if you would let us know um, when you guys have your meeting, let Howard, uh, let Howard or me know, and we can we can send the invitation. We can let everybody know, um, so people can drop in if they if they want to learn more. Okay, uh, youth exchange. I know we we're on hold, but I know that there's some plans. And uh, Claire, did you want to share what what we hope will happen? Did I see Claire here? Don't recall seeing Claire here. Maggie, I could speak to it. Great, so Ian. Can... Yes, thank so, you. So for youth exchange, uh, you know, making the major assumption that the vaccines will be widely available and distributed and among the population, and uh, as such, schools could be open in full force next fall, then we intend to receive a uh, student on a one-way inbound only exchange from uh, Africa and uh, we look forward to that being a real possibility. 
Thank you. And do we have, um, I know before we, we kind of put on pause, we had families lined up. Do we still have those same we families? We do, we do. We have all of our families lined up for next year. However, if anybody's still interested, uh, I am certain that our, uh, our parent club, our CADA uh, Noon, would appreciate uh, help. And, you know, things can change. Circumstances can change throughout a year. So we, we always appreciate having a backup option as well. Thanks for bringing that up, Maggie. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'll jump back to vocational and Tay. I saw that um, that Charlie came in. Are you still there? Let me see, Crystal. Charlie, uh, can you share? I am. Yep. Hi. I am. Uh, um, updates with the internship. We we do have you know a couple of um, Rotarians who have offered up internships, including um, Maggie, your organization, and Charlie Jordan's. Uh, it seems that some of the, you know, uh, the participation um, from Tay's side is a little bit low. I'm not sure um, if it's because their numbers are low due to, you know, everything that's going on. Um, I did, I was in a meeting last, or yesterday, where um, the court and community schools were talking about looking for employment for some of their um, students that have additional struggles. So I was going to reach out to Jennifer Fairbanks um, to see if we can plug in some of their kids. But yeah, it kind of just, we did all the work. We wrote the grant. We had some businesses, you know, interested in helping. And now it seems like we kind of like are in a holding pattern. And so, yeah, we're just going to try to troubleshoot it. Hey, uh, one thing that will be happening is uh, the the paper, Time Standard, is working on an article um, about it. And also, Channel 3 has reached out and wants to do an interview. So, Charlie, that will, what might very well get more interest out there, if, um, if you could connect with Hector about that interview. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been in communication with, with Hector. We've just been passing shit in the night <laughs> so far. Right, I understand. And uh, the other thing, Raven, the Raven Project might be a good place to reach out to now, too. Yep, I reached out to the Raven Project, um, Tay, and the, um, the Homeless Youth Shelter, YSP. Great. Great. So, yeah, please, and oh, and, and I'm going to talk, uh, we want to talk to another club about it. They want to hear about it, too, and I mentioned it at the Redwood, uh, Rotary Redwood Regional Meeting uh, Monday, so hopefully we'll get some more interest. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Is there anything else in vocational, or if that's the main focus, I think, this year, is that correct, Vanessa? Yep, that's, that's our primary focus. Great. Okay, thank you. All right. So one of the things I wanted everyone to, you know, we're six, six months into this year, which means um, we're, of course, we're only a few weeks into this year, but one, wanted you to all think about, you know, in terms of Rotary, what would you like to accomplish in the next six months? And how will you support the club and other members in, in doing the things that you want to do and that we want to do? And just something to think about. Um, not anything we want to talk about now, but I encourage you to, to really kind of think about what, what can I do um, given the circumstances, how can I help and, and keep us moving forward. We are going to spend a few minutes, not too many because it could get overwhelming, but we're going to spend a few minutes talking about Slack. And I asked AJ if he would help us with this. And um, Amanda is also at the ready. So AJ, are you, I don't know why I can't see everybody. Oh, there he is. Um, AJ, what do we need to do for you? Should I, do you? Are you going to be able to share a screen or anything like that or just talk? Yeah, I can share my screen. I think it'd be helpful to see uh, some of the features built in. So. Go for it. So I did have Slack up already, and um, if you haven't seen it um, on the desktop, it is pretty handy. Um, let me uh, 
get this going here. How's it looking? Good. Oh yeah. So, um, uh, just to keep it simple, uh, uh, what's happened is um, if you're on Slack, uh, there's a lot of channels that have been created and you can voluntarily join channels. Um, and uh, what this will allow you to do is be notified if something gets posted in a particular channel. So if you're on the membership committee or interested in um, learning more about membership, then you can add yourself to that particular channel. And so um, I, as the new community service chair, um, have a lot of uh, posts in the community service channel. And so you could see some of our um, photos from Adopt a Highway, uh, Zoom link. It's like a good central location to kind of find information if you're just interested in community service. Um, I think part of the reason we're looking to uh, um, have this little bit of a training is so that uh, um, we can get a little more posts in some of these other uh, channels so that we can share the information um, in a more centralized way. The, the buy-in I have is I, I definitely enjoy not having to sift through emails um, to find specific information. I can just hop on the channel and I um, know what I've posted. And so um, there's some fun tools I've played with, like I can post a poll to my committee um, and ask them about good meeting times, et cetera. Um, I know all this can be done via email, but it's all in one central location and the results can be posted in the same place. Um, and then I have a document that I can need to update, which are our community service ideas. Um, uh, we just had a meeting on the 20th and uh, I just simply uh, took notes, posted the um, meeting um, minutes essentially, and uh, it gives everybody on the committee a central location to go check out the document. You don't have to download it, you just open it up and see what we talked about. Um, I think uh, one thing I wanted to touch on is uh, some folks have been really interested in uh, somehow uh, having this tie into their email. And so you can update your notifications. And I know, I think uh, when we just rolled this out, Ed was really interested in, um, uh, I guess, specifically having it tied to uh, email updates. And so um, through this notification bar, um, depending on the channel list that you're part of, um, you can have channel specific notifications and have email notifications um, sent to you um, once something's posted those, to those specific channels. And so um, on top of being part of that channel, you have to also add specific channels uh, notifications so that um, you can receive the notifications that uh, if you're actively working on something like something we were doing recently was the stocking um, program that uh, I wanted to get uh, stay on top of uh, what was needed so I uh, ensured uh, I was able to stay in the loop there so um, Amanda if you're on I don't know if you have anything else to add but I, that's how I just wanted to keep it simple there I would probably overcomplicate it if I added any more. I think you did a really nice <laughs> job. Nice. Well, one thing that I that I'm taking away from what you did is that I want to put Slack on my desktop because it feels it will make it easier to use it between my email and it will remind me that maybe instead of sending an email, I can also or also put it on Slack. Um, and I, when I use it on my phone, I don't really always have that same connection. So I think it looks, it looks easier to maneuver on your desktop. So if, if, if people do one take, have one takeaway today from this, if you haven't joined Slack, consider putting it on, you know, getting it on your computer and, and getting involved in it. I think that will feel easier starting out than on your phone for a lot of people. Yep. Thanks, Maggie. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. And again, the more people um, that are on there, the more we can tra transition to, um, to right now we're kind of running double systems because not everyone has tried out Slack. And if you can try it, then we can, 
it will cut down on the emails that you get in trying to dig through emails and stuff like that. So um, it, it could really make your life a little easier, your Rotarian life a little easier. So thank you so much uh, for that. Anybody have questions for the Slack? Somebody did ask that they send out the invite again. Um, and I think that was Patty that did that, but I'm not sure if someone else can do it. So um, if not, we could try, we could, I'll ask Patty if she can send out the invite. Can so, anybody send out the invite? There's a question for you slackers. I think so, <laughs> I'll give it a try. I was wanting to call people slackers without insulting them. So, hey, okay, no, just kidding. All right, thank you. So we are going to continue onward. Just wanted you to save some dates. Next Friday is final Friday, which will be our first final Friday of the year. Should be exciting. And this is hot, this is late breaking news. Howard, you don't know this yet. <laughs> we're, we're, we're switching our charter celebration for our birthday, um, or the birthday of the club, where our charter celebration will be February 19th, not February 5th. February 5th is my birthday, so it, the, that program will be entirely about my life. I'm kidding, don't worry. Um, the last thing I want to do is is bring all my family members in and have them tell you anything about me. So we won't we won't be talking about my life. But we're moving charter to the nineteenth. Uh, that works better for the the planning team on that. So, and then uh, April seventeenth, we just learned we're going to have the vit virtual district assemb excuse me assembly on that day. So it's a Saturday. Mark your calendar. If you've never gone to a district assembly, this is a great opportunity to do that. Um, I'm going to stop talking about that and I'm going to let our district governor elect tell us why people should go to the assembly. Hey, Dustin. I mean, it's uh, kind of self explanatory, right? It's a Rotary event. You should always be going there, participate. What do I need to say? <laughs> no, um, but this year, if you haven't gone in the past, for those of you who don't, uh, know what district training assembly is. It's essentially a, the district puts on um, an event every year uh, geared to train folks uh, about Rotary in one way, uh, one capacity or, or another. It's kind of up to the district how or what they, uh, um, how they want to format it and exactly how much training they want to put into it. Uh, in the past, we used to all get together as a district and meet in Ukiah at the uh, junior college there and it was an all-day event with a dinner the night before and the day uh, of the training which was a Saturday we would have a, a breakfast and breakout sessions uh, uh, ranging from all things Rotary uh, Foundation membership uh, interact right interact stuff and then uh, um, then come back for lunch and uh, with a little speaker and then uh, more breakout sessions and then drive home that was actually the first uh, Rotary event I ever went to. I rode with uh, uh, Lori and Barbara. We met at 5 a.m. with uh, Romy and Bob Johnson and uh, and the crew and piled in uh, Bob's van and I piled in with uh, Lori and uh, uh, Barb and we hit the road. So that it used to be a kind of a caravan to Ukiah. Um, over the past years they wanted to get more participation so they split it up north and south. Uh, this year, we have the opportunity to do it virtually, so um, hopefully uh, everyone goes and signs up for something. Uh, this year, uh, I'm structuring it so we, we go back to the Friday night, Saturday theme. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to have a social and a speaker on Friday night, and I will follow up with details on that. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag quite yet, uh, but it will be themed and it will be really fun. Uh, and then the next morning we will have a significant speaker uh, and I'll talk, uh, hopefully not too much, and then we'll go into a, a, um, a breakout sessions and make a day out of it. So um, it should be really, really fun and informative and we're gearing it this year so it's less information transfer, more uh, collaboration focused on uh, creating vibrant clubs and all the avenues that go along with that. So. It should be really fun if you've never done it or just want to learn more or just want to 
have something on in the background, <laughs> uh, register and uh, get there. It'll be really fun. So, yeah. Great. Thank you. Uh, and and this picture, this is this is how this is what you'll look like when you're at the district assembly. You'll. This, <laughs> that's that's right. The theme is kids' birthday. So. That's right. That's right. It's a uh, hey. Who doesn't want to cross their eyes and blow? <laughs> These kids are having fun. You don't know it, but they are. All right. Thanks, Dustin.